Welcome back. It's time to take a look at what's trending on the web. So we know traffic in LA is probably one of the worst in the country among many other big cities, but it was so bad over the weekend due to a tanker truck crash that happened and caused people to be in still motion for hours. They actually decided to get out of the cars and go to a local food truck that was in traffic with them. This Yikes. definitely reminds me of I-35, but if there was a food truck or ice cream truck, I would stop, get out of my car too, <laughs> especially if I've been sitting there bumper to bumper for hours. Yeah. yeah. This is just so horrible to see. I can't imagine being there. I would definitely walk, even if I was in the far back and I heard there was a food truck. That's worth the walk for me. Just walk home. <laughs> <laughs> that, <You> too. Know? <laughs> that too. Yeah, definitely. So that reminds me of Atlanta too. Have you guys ever sitting in Atlanta traffic? Mm -hmm. No? No, but I can only imagine. Oh gosh. It, yeah, it's definitely the worst. All right, moving on. Astros pitcher Justin Verlander is being slapped with a $1 million lunch bill for winning the World Series. He was in LA over the weekend and this was his bill. <laughs> $1 million item that was labeled Dodger killer. So obviously this waiter, waitress, <laughs> is a huge uh, Dodgers fan, you know, but this is, you know, we have one year of Harvey mm -hmm. and we had the Astros win the World Series. So tough time for Houston, but. Yeah, it was this win really just helped, you know, I think the morale of the Lift city. spirits, yeah, you know. Yeah, it really did. And, you know, it was a joke, but Megan, you were mentioning that he, he's obviously very rich and he can afford $1 million for, for killing the dreams of Dodger he's fans. He's spending $42 on a salad, by the way. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, on a salad. I guess that's what happens when you dine in Beverly Hills. Well, finally, mm -hmm. Taylor Swift, she's on tour right now, and over the weekend she made a pit stop in Nashville for a sold-out show, so she brought out Tim McGraw and Faith Hill to sing with her. They actually sang her song that's called Tim McGraw. <laughs> and it's an old song, too. Yeah, it's one of her very first ones. If you haven't heard it, it's pretty good, but this is, this is cool. This is pretty interesting, especially for, the, you know, country music fans. And yeah. It's, yeah, and it's just crazy to see how much Taylor Swift has evolved over the years. Mm -hmm. You know, she moved to Nashville when she was 13 years old. First time she went to the stadium was CMA Fest uh, with her mom when she was 13. Now she's headlining there. Look at that. Dreams can come true. Yeah. They can. All right, Megan, what's coming up next in weather? Uh, well, we're looking at.